Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shotwani once again from learnhyperinnovation.com. So in the previous videos, we have installed Jenkins. Now we'll see the quick UI of Jenkins. Okay, this is just an overview. We will be exploring each and every option once we move ahead. So as you can see, as you logged in, you will see a username. You can also see the logout. On the left hand side, you can see you can create a new item. So let me open these options one by one. When you say new item, it means you can create a new job. Okay, let the option load. So as you can see now you can create uh, jobs here so you have multiple options you can create create freestyle jobs pipeline you can also create multi branch pipeline and so on depends on the requirement you can select which kind of job you want to create just provide the name and you can get started second option is people okay right now we have installed uh, jenkins so we don't have any person except me but once you have multiple you know users on this jenkins you can see all these users here on the people section Next is build history. As of now, we have not executed any build, right? So once you have multiple builds running on this Jenkins, you will see all the build history on this particular section. Right now, we haven't even started a single build, so it's totally blank as of now. Now, this is the main important point, which is manage Jenkins. Okay. Uh, as of now, we have not configured Jenkins, but whatever configuration you have to do, you have to do from manage Jenkins. As of now, you can see we have four sections. One is system configuration, second is security, third is status information and troubleshooting and finally tools and action. So I guess totally five. And these are the main options. Okay. So first option is whenever you have to make any global settings, you have to add some paths. You can do it here. Okay. Uh, whenever you have to configure some additional tools, locations and installer, you can make changes here. In case if you have to add remove any plugin you can do from manage plugins and whenever you have to add any node or i will say slaves right you can do it from here so via this action you can also set up the agents in the cloud as well and right now we have installed jenkins as a var file right so you can see this is my var file running so the moment i stop this var file this jenkins will be down but suppose if i want to install jenkins as a service I have this option so the moment I restart my system or this machine boots Jenkins will be up and running then we have security okay so suppose you want to configure Jenkins that you want to define who will access what then you can mention this inside global security here you can manage the credentials and here you can create the users delete the users and modify the users so these two sections are very important okay then these are some additional informations, okay, uh, system information, troubleshooting, and some additional tools and actions. Now, again, I use Jenkins CLI most of the time, okay, so I will show you in upcoming videos how we can access this. And whenever you have to execute any, you know, Groovy script or some additional script for admin task or for some troubleshooting, you can give it here. Now, it's views. Uh, so views are basically, you know, you can create some customized view and you can add some job into that view so by default we have all view so all the jobs will come under one view but you can create multiple views and you can keep these jobs inside these views don't worry we'll talk about them one by one it is just i'm giving you overview today frankly speaking i have not used locable resources and this is the same thing new views if you want to create any view here that views will be displayed here and these are very important now build queue and build executor status so build queue let's say you have executed multiple build okay so and you have only two executors so the moment you execute third build it will go in a build queue depends on the number of executor status if i execute let's say 10 i have only two executors so eight will go in a build queue and we can also change this how many executor we want so by default when you install jenkins it is set to two but in the manage jenkins you can change that how many uh, default executors you want and these are some quick links okay which you can do like you can create a job set up agent you can configure a cloud and you can also see we have rest api for jenkins so the moment i open this rest api okay so this is giving me api for this particular jenkins instance so this is xml api json api python apis okay and you can create a job copy job you build queue load statistics and restart jenkins 
so this is some uh, Jenkins API available okay so whenever you have to import and export some Jenkins job you want to take backup you can do it from Jenkins API as well so don't worry once we move ahead we will use these options we will try to create a simple project maven project pipeline multi-branch pipeline and we will be using these options okay so that's a quick video about the Jenkins UI okay so be comfortable explore these options and I will see you in the next video so in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel share with your friend and if you find any issue let me know in the comment section have a nice day bye bye